All right, welcome to Portal Story Smell Late 2023 Edition. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over the necessary binds, commands, and the performance-related stuff to speedrun this game. And before we get started, I want to quickly mention this tutorial is made with assuming you have a basic knowledge of Portal 2 speedrunning, as I'm not going in depth with basic tricks such as reportals or portal stands and so on. And with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, first off, if this is your first time speedrunning a Portal 2 game, there is a great setup guide made by Jayo that goes over everything needed for Portal 2 speedrunning. Uh, the link is in the description. And for moving over all the stuff such as SAR, SR configs, your binds, and any custom CFGs, I highly recommend setting up a common folder. This can be also found in the description. Or if you want to move everything manually, you go to your Steam, Library, right click Mail, Properties, Install Files, and Browse. And the folder called Portal underscore Stories is where all your stuff goes. Okay, now for binds, you most likely already have some of these, but I will quickly go over as these are necessary for the speedrun. And I will leave these in the description so you can copy them easily. So, uh, Developer 1. As of the time recording this, Developer 1 is allowed in this category and allows us to move earlier on few maps. SR Configs has this enabled by default for Mel. And if you don't have SR Configs, throw this in your auto exec. Just make sure you check the rules first before enabling it. And the next point here is for performing tricks with save loading. Uh, it is better to have it saved to something else than quick, so you don't override saves by accident. And the next one uh, is used at the end of chapter 1 to skip a cutscene. This is for removing crossfly on some of the maps. And the last one here uh, is to use to make multiple lineups easier throughout the run. And the more general points needed, uh, SR configs has its own version of these commands. But just in case for the people that don't have SR configs, uh, this is gonna be your full break command. It is necessary at the end of chapter 4. And during chapter 5, a low sensitivity bind is needed. You can either bind both sensitivities to a different key or have it as a toggle. And lastly, during chapter 1, you will need plus use on scroll wheel. And if you use plus jump on only mouse wheel up or down, you probably already have either one of these. Uh, if not, I recommend you do. Or if you are a fellow both mouse wheel up and down jumper, you're gonna need to either toggle the mouse wheel to be plus use like this. The say command prints this in chat to remind you which one you have on. Or, if you want it to change when held, uh, add these two lines to your auto exec, and in game, you're gonna bind a key to plus scroll use. And after you're done with binding all your stuff, remember to host underscore write config to save the binds. So, the first thing you might notice when opening a map in this game, the performance can be a bit rough. To make it slightly better, there are a few things you can do. You can start off by having all the video settings as slow as possible in game. And then you want to download the FPS config that is made specifically for mail to increase the FPS. This can be found in speedrun.com slash mail. And from resources, uh, you can find the FPS config and click this to download it. Make sure to allow the download. And once it's downloaded, uh, you can just drag the FPS config to the CFG folder in Portal Stories. And to ensure every command is run at all times, you want to make an alias and have this in your audio exec or in extra for SR configs and add it to your plus forward bind like this. And remember to host underscore write config. The next three commands are used to prevent crashing. Uh, this one being the single most important one, preventing 95% of the crashes. And with SR configs, uh, these two are already set to these values. And if you don't have SR configs, throw these to your auto exec. And the third one is for a very specific crash that happens on a map called Funnel or Goo. If you experience this, add it to your FPS config. Uh, more about the crash in the map video itself. 
the category this tutorial is made for is story mode inbounds SLA. This means the run is done on story mode and you need to stay in bounds at all times and you're allowed to abuse save loading to perform tricks. To submit a run, you will need a video recording of your run with a timer on screen, either using live split or SAR SR HUD, since demo recording is not used due to them breaking maps. And that should do it. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me or at me at Rattlery on the P2SR Discord in P2 Mod General, or you can make a post on the help forum. Our community is more than happy to help. Alright, have fun learning!